I'm Jen, and this is Jackie. We're Pilates instructors here at Flex Studios in New York City. Today we're gonna take you through a Flex Pilates mat workout. Here at Flex, we take Pilates and kick it up a notch, so we wanna give you the same experience right in your living room. Today's workout is gonna be tough, but if you stick with us and do this about three times a week, we promise you'll be leaner, longer, and stronger. Today we're gonna start at the back of the mat. So go ahead and position yourself all the way at the back of your mat and turn and face the mat so you have a lot of mat out in front of you. Wanna make sure that you're standing right on top of your feet, sits bones distance apart. So you wanna be just narrower than your hips. And then you want your hips stacked on top of your ankles, your ribs on top of your hips, shoulders, then your head. Abs are pulled in and up. To start, take a big inhale, reach your arms out and up to the ceiling, just open up those ribs. Shoulders stay away from your ears. Exhale, press the arms down. We're gonna drop the chin to the chest. Start to roll down one bone at a time. As you do it, I want you to feel your abs pulling in and up. As you dive forward, then soften the knees, drop the tailbone and roll it all the way back up. Same way, one bone at a time. So make sure that each bone gets its moment. Shoulders down one more time, arms up. Exhale, press. Drop your chin to your chest. Feel the abs pulling in and up as you dive forward. So it's almost like you're hanging over a tree branch or a monkey bar, pulling the belly in and up. Soften the knees, drop the tailbone and roll it up. One bone at a time, just waking up the spine. Shoulders stack, head stacks. One more, arms up. Big exhale as you press the air down from under your armpits. Drop your chin to your chest and roll it down. Good, this time we're gonna stay here. I want you to start to find your mat with your hands. Bend your knees and walk out to your plank. One long line from the crown of the head out to the heels. Making sure that your hips aren't dropped lower than your ribs. So you wanna really pull up in those low abs. Heels pushing back so that your hamstrings start to fire up, pressing up to the ceiling and glutes start to pull down. So make sure you're active through your legs. Good, holding here just for about five more counts. Four, three, Two, on one, you're gonna pull your right knee into your chest and then put it back. Then we'll go left knee. You're gonna keep switching your legs like this, really drawing those abdominals in and up as you bring the knee all the way up through those arms. Making sure the hips aren't lifting and lowering. Make sure the spine is not rounding. So nothing is changing except the legs pulling in and out. Find a nice lift underneath your armpits. So really make sure when you do your planks so that you don't start to fall to the ground. Lift up under those armpits. Good. In and out. Exhale. And in. And in. Almost there. Stay with me. In. Four more. For four. And back. For three. Nice and strong. For two. One more. In. Find that plank. Let's pull that plank. One more time, wake up those stabilizers, heart is forward. Seats are down, hamstrings up, abs in, and then slowly you're gonna start to bend those knees. Walk it back. Drop your heels and see if you can roll right back up to that nice tall standing position. Shoulders, head, is the last thing to come up. Good, let's turn and face forward, but stay over to the side of your mat. So again, you want a lot of mat over to this side. Shoulders roll down. From here, we're gonna take it into a side lunge. So, as you step to the right, arms will reach overhead, right knee bends. And then press all the way back in, arms by your side. Again, to the right. And up, good. Hinging those hips back. So this is an excellent exercise to warm up and wake up those legs, wake up your lower body. It works every muscle. You've got outer thighs, inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings, all of it. Quads working here on that squat. I want you to think more about a squat than a lunge. So think less about lunging out and more about sitting back. And good, down. Tighten the abs as you squeeze those legs together so that you don't lose your balance. Good, down. And up. Head stays long on your spine. Shoulders stay away from your ears. And up, we have four more on this side. Four, and up. Hips reaching back. Last two. On your last one, I want you to hold that side lunge. Hold it there. Make sure that that right knee is right over your ankle. We're gonna step all the way in, over to our right leg. 
We're gonna do it again on the left side. Step it out to the left, arms up. So reach the hips back over the mat behind you so that you're not pushing your knee forward over your toes, but it's staying right over your ankle. Working hard to step straight to the side and back in so that your toes don't go too far forward or back on that moving leg. Down and up. You should feel your heart rate starting to come up just a little bit. That's what happens when we change levels. It's awesome. And down and up. Good. Drop and lift. Breathe. Good. We're almost through this. I want you to stick with me. Good. For about five more. And down. Push through your heels. Squeeze your glutes. And up. Good. Three. And lift. Two. One more. Take it down and all the way in. Nice job. Let's step the feet nice and wide. Going into our plie. So our heels are turned in. Our toes are pointing out to the front corners of the mat. So make sure you're not too wide with those feet. You want to rein it in just a little bit. From here, we're going to bend both knees to the side. Arms reach out to the side. Holding strong. Make sure in this position that your butt is not back behind you. So you want to wrap that booty in, press your thighs back. From here, exhale, lift those legs all the way up. Arms reach out in front of you. Good, and open. And in. Good. And squeeze. So this movement with our arms is called hug a tree. So what I want you to think about is hugging a big giant redwood tree. So it's not a tiny tree we're hugging here. We're going for the big guys. And out. exhale, squeeze. And out. And out. Reach. And out. And down. Good. And out. Lengthen out around that tree and back. And squeeze your back muscles as you open. So make it about work in both directions. So it's not just one direction just to squeeze, but it's the opening as well. Good. Four more. In four. In three. Good. Abs in for a two. Good. Last one, we're going to hold it open and down in that plie one more time. You can stay right here. We're going to add a little bit of a pulse if you're ready, though. Down. Down. Good. So you should feel those thighs starting to burn up. Good. If you don't, drop your hips a little lower and then we'll talk. And down. Good, and down, and down. If you're ready for more, we're gonna start to challenge our balance. Lifting maybe one heel up, and then the other, continuing that pulse. Good, and down, just for four, three, two, one. Drop those heels and stand all the way up. One more time, we're gonna take it to the back of the mat. Step it back and turn and face this side so we can do our nice roll down through the spine. Walk it out to that plank. Once you've found your plank, this time we're gonna work our obliques. So we take that right forearm down onto the mat and roll to face this side, lifting that left arm up. Once it's lifted, start to lift your hips even higher, up. So you should feel heat through your sideways. So it's like you're trying to touch your hip and your rib together underneath you. Lift, good, lift. They don't need to be quick. It doesn't need to be super high. It's maybe just an inch up. Now you can stay right here. This is totally fine. If you're ready to take it up a notch, we're gonna add a twist. So every time those hips lift, you're gonna reach under and under. It's like you're digging in your pocket. Reach for it and reach. So now we're working the obliques in two ways. Not just that side bend, but a rotation. So we're twisting, good, and under. Four more here for four. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. One more. Under, lift it. We're going straight to the other side. Wrap that left forearm down. Roll it over. Reach that arm to the ceiling. Lift those hips up. Starting just with that hip lift. Now make sure on your side planks that your seats are engaged. Your hips are pressed forward, up. 
If you're ready for the challenge, start that twist. We go under. Good, under. The beauty of side plank is it's not just your abs, but it's your shoulder stabilizers, also your outer thighs. So I want you to think about that as you lift your hips. That it's not just your obliques we're working here. Work that entire left side of your body. Exhale, under and up, under. Breathing, exhale, twist, reach. Remember, it's like you're reaching into your pocket. Under and under. Four more here for four. Exhale, three. Breathe for two. One more, under, lift it, hold it right here. Take that arm, put it down on your mat. Walk back to your plank. I want you to hold it right here nice and strong. Roll that heart forward, abs are in. Breathe, let that heart rate start to rise. Pull those abs in and up, tighten everything up one more inch than it was before. Then slowly walk it back to your toes. Drop your heels and roll it all the way up. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a water break. We're gonna take a quick sip, then Jackie's gonna take over from here. Thanks, Jen, that was really great. I hope you all grabbed a sip of water, because we're gonna keep it up. So what I want you guys to do now is come to standing at the center of your mat. Once you get there, you can drop it down onto your knees. You're gonna take the left arm, reach it up by your ear, and then you're gonna take your body over towards that left side, extending your right leg out. Reach your right arm to the ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and lift that right leg up so it's close to in line with your hip. From here, you're gonna take it into little pulses. So we're squeezing into the outer thigh here, working into that right glute. I want you guys to think about a couple things. So your shoulders are stacked, one on top of the other. Your hips are stacked, one on top of the other. You're keeping your chest open and wide and you're really activating into that right outer thigh. Something you'll notice here is that that left stabilizing leg is killing you too. So I want you to give me four more here. You're gonna hold it on one. This is four, three, Two, hold it, one. From here, keeping those hips stacked, you're gonna go ahead and inhale, sweep that right leg forward towards the front, and then exhale, reach those toes back to center. Again, you can hear Jen's breathing really good. Your breath is really gonna help carry you here. It's an excellent tool to use. Squeezing into the glutes, inhale forward, exhale, long legs, sweep it out. Something I wanna touch on, guys, is don't worry about how high your leg is today. You can always work to get it higher. I want you to give me three more here. Inhale, and exhale, reach. Last two, inhale, and exhale, reach. Last one, exhale, reach it long. I want you to hold it, take a big inhale, exhale, see if you can lift it one more inch higher. Hold it, three, two, one, and come back to standing on both knees. Excellent work, other side. Right arm lifts up, take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna take that weight into your right hand, extend your left leg out, left arm to the ceiling. Lift that left leg up just as high as you can get it today. We're gonna to take it right into our little pulses. It goes up and up and up. Nice job, guys. So all the things we talked about on the other side apply here. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked, squeezing into that left outer thigh, right seat underneath of you is also working. Four more, four. Three, two, hold it, one. From here, you're gonna inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, squeeze, press it back. Now this is a challenging move. It's always good to be challenged because it gives you something to work towards next time. Good, again, inhale forward. Exhale, press and squeeze. Inhale forward. Hang on to it, fight for it. Exhale, press and squeeze. You just have two more, ready? Here you go, inhale. And exhale, reach. Ooh, one more, inhale. And exhale, reach and hold it, take a big inhale. Exhale, lift it a little higher and press back up onto your knees. Nice work, guys. From here, we're gonna turn to face the right, over your right shoulder. Have a seat, reach your legs out in front of you. You're gonna have bent knees. Reach your arms in front of you, take an inhale. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and roll it down one bone at a time until you're lying all the way down on your back. From here, just place your hands down alongside you. Walk your feet in until your heels are exactly underneath your knees. 
Now from here, you're gonna press into those heels, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up off of the mat. From here, I want you to lower your hips down about five inches, and then press into your heels, squeeze your glutes, and lift it up again. So what you're gonna feel right away is your hamstrings and your seat. Couple of notes, I want you guys to make sure that your knees are tracking over your second and your third toe, and that your legs and your feet are both parallel. Lip squeeze, down and up. You can also think about drawing your abs, your lower abs in and up, keeping your rib cage closed. So make sure you're not popping your rib cage open as you lift your hips up. Let's go four more, four, lift, three, squeeze, two more, two, it's up. Last one, up and hold it, stay here. We're gonna move on. Remember, you can always go back to the previous move. From here, I want you to push into your left heel, reach your right toes out on a diagonal. Hold them there. From here, try to lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Reach it back to the diagonal, pushing through your left heel. Bend your right knee, put your right heel down. Stay, lift your hips a little higher. Let's go to the other side. Take your left leg, reach your toes out on a diagonal. Go ahead, take those toes, reach them up to the ceiling, push through your right heel, squeeze. Go ahead and reach it back down. And bend your knee, put your heel down. One more time each side, guys. You're gonna take those right toes, reach them out on the diagonal. Lift the leg up to the ceiling. Reach it back out on the diagonal. Bend your knee, put your heel down. Last time, hang with me, here we go. Reach those left toes out from here. Lift it up to the ceiling, squeeze that right glute. Lengthen it back to the diagonal. Bend your knee, put your left heel down. Lift your hips up one more inch. We're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and control it all the way down. Good, from here guys, you can go ahead and take your hands onto the backs of your thighs and tuck your chin to your chest. Feel yourself rolling up one bone at a time. Coming back to sitting nice and tall, shoulders on top of hips. Reach your arms in front of you, take an inhale. Now, exhale, contract. You're gonna find our C curve here. You're gonna roll back off of your sits bones. Pull your abs in, drop your ribs down to your hips. Once you arrive at this position, let your hands fall down next to your sides. You're gonna inhale, lift your arms up by your ears. And exhale, let them lower down next to your hips. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop them down. So, we're stabilizing our torso here. You can see the only thing moving is our arms. I want you to think a little bit internally. Think about your rib cage sliding down over your hip bones as you pull your lower abs in and up. You can also exhale as you lift your arms. It helps you engage more into your abs. Again, exhale up and down and up and down. We're gonna go four more here. It's four, control, and three. Good, two more, two. There's your last one, hold those arms up at the top. Good, from here, fingertips reach straight in front of you. You're gonna swing your elbows back, drop it to your forearms. Try not to sink into your shoulders so you're really pushing up. From here, bring your right knee to tabletop. Left leg comes up to meet it. Glue those inner thighs together. You're gonna go ahead and inhale. Let your toes tap down towards the mat. And then exhale, use your lower abs to draw those legs back in and up. Now, something important for you to know here is it doesn't matter how low your legs go. You're gonna get work no matter what. So if you can only move an inch or two today, 100% fine. Again, inhale down. Exhale, pull that navel in, bring it up. Make sure you haven't sunk into your shoulders. Your shoulders are pressing down away from your ears. We have four more here. It's four. And in. Good, three. Hang on to those low abs. You got this, last two. Two, bring it in. And one, bring it in. Pause right there. Take your right foot, put it down. Take your left foot, put it down. Just go ahead and lie down onto your back. Let your arms relax by your side. Woo. From here, inhale, arms to the ceiling. We're gonna bring your legs back to tabletop. Right knee up, left knee up. We're moving into our Pilates 100. Take an inhale, exhale. Press your hands to your hips. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. You're gonna start to quickly pump your arms. They go down, 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 down. The breath is like this. Inhale through the nose for five counts and then exhale out of the mouth for five counts, really trying to pull your lower abs down deeper. 
Again, it's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale. And exhale, you're about halfway there. We have five more sets. It's inhale. And exhale. Good. That's right, guys. Every time you exhale, feel those abs pull down and in. Two more times. It's inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Last one. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold it. Yes. I want you to take your hands from here behind your head. You can give a little bit of the weight of your head to your hands. You're going to rotate your torso to the left as you extend your right leg out long. From here, I want you to go ahead and switch. So, if you look at Jen and I, you notice our elbows are open really wide. We're thinking more shoulder to knee rather than elbow to knee. So keep that chest open. Recruit your obliques here. So you're getting that rotation in your spine. Exhale as you twist and twist. Again. Good, four more here. It goes for four and three and two, and one. Bring your knees in. Let your head, neck, and shoulders relax. Bring your feet down one at a time. Awesome work from here. I want you to straighten your legs out. You're gonna flip over towards your left shoulder till you come lying on your belly. Lying on your stomach, I want you to extend your arms out in front of you, and you can just let your forehead sort of rest onto the mat. Squeeze into your glutes. You're gonna take an inhale, lift your head, neck, shoulders, Legs up off of the mat, lengthen, lengthen, reach. And exhale, control it down. Again, inhale, lengthen, reach. Try to keep the back of your neck in line with your spine. Control it down. So we're one long line from head to tail. Inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, control it down. One last time, feel the squeeze into your glutes. Try not to bend your knees, lift from your hamstrings. And exhale, lower down. Good work, from here. Take your hands next to your shoulders. I want you to come up to your knees and push your hips back into a child's pose. You're getting a nice, deep stretch through your spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, try to walk your fingertips forward a little bit more. Lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck. Good, from here, come up onto all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Pull your abs in. I want you guys to tuck your toes here. You're gonna pike your hips directly up behind you. Push your heels down into that mat. Lengthen through your spine. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Just hang here for me. Feel your hamstrings release, maybe your low back release. Grab onto your opposite elbows and just gently let your body sway side to side. So we're getting even deeper into stretching out that low back into our hamstrings. Four more, four, three, two. Come center on one, drop your arms. Softly bend your knees, drop your hips. One bone at a time, roll it up. Head is the last thing to lift up. Inhale, arms to the sky. I want you to go ahead and take your right hand, grab your left wrist. Take a nice deep stretch over to your right side. So you're getting into your obliques here, right into that left side of your body. Inhale, lift it tall. Let's switch. Grab onto your right wrist, dive it left. Lifting up and over, stretch those right obliques. Inhale, lift it tall. From here, flip your palms to face away from your body. Feel the length in your spine and just exhale. Press your hands down to your hips. Feel yourself growing nice and tall to finish. That was a great workout today, guys. Thanks so much for joining myself, Jen, and Dream and Green Girl for our first ever Pilates workout. Keep it up. Remember, if you do this three times a week, you're gonna get longer, leaner, and stronger. We'll see you next time.